This is Photo Walkthrough episode number 120, tutorial 18, chapter 2. Hello and welcome back to Photo Walkthrough. Today we've got tutorial 18, chapter 2, the second part in our series of episodes showing you how to dragonize a photograph. Um, we'd of course like to say a massive thank you to our regular show sponsors, Zazzle.co.uk. If you're spending over $50 at Zazzle, you can get a 10% discount by using promo code PHOTOWALK123. And if you spend over $75 with Zazzle, you can get a 12% discount by using the promo code PHOTOWALK321. And remember, you can make money from your own photographs by setting up your own store on the well on the Zazzle website and charging your own prices. They'll send you the difference between what it costs to make them and what price you've charged. So head on over to Zazzle and uh, set up your own store there. Thank you as always to Zazzle for supporting the show. Okay let's jump straight in and get on with tutorial 18 chapter 2. Now the other thing I'm going to do while I'm here in the in the dodge burn layer is I'm just going to try and even out the the background because we've got a few distracting I was stood in front of um, uh, or sat in front of uh, a curtain type thing that, that was you know a photography background that had this sort of mottled pattern on it um, and I, 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 I do want that to be visible but I don't want it to be distracting so I'm just painting black over those patches that of, of, of light there um, just burning them down just to try and make them disappear a little bit and what I'm going to do in a minute is I am actually going to bring the background up one of the things you'll see in a lot of the dragonizing tutorials is people seem to think that dragon has black backgrounds if you look at his pictures though they, they're, they're not all on black backgrounds so they've usually got some sort of visible background so I don't want to completely remove the background I just want to re reduce its importance so once again with my brush and I'm just refining and refining and hopefully getting a little closer on those levels trying to keep the detail visible now there's a little detail here that that, that uh, bugs me slightly uh, check out the eyes now the reason one eye looks very much darker than the other is I, actually, I have actually got two different colored eyes uh, my bright eye is green and my, and my left eye is brown but we're not seeing any of the brown in that eye there so I'm just going to um, with the brush I'm just going to lighten up a little bit those areas that ought to have some color in them uh, now you can see because it's so dark there's no color information in there um, and actually what we're getting is sort of gray or, or, or almost blue um, so I'm going to just throw in another layer here this is this is a vanity layer and it's only because I know my, my eye should be brown so I'm just going to pick a color out of the color picker um, somewhere in the oranges somewhere in the rich oranges and I'm going to choose a brown there and just paint in some brown on that layer over the top and then I'm going to change the blending mode of that to color so that that now blends into the information that was already there it gives it that brown tone now it's it's too strong at the moment so I'm going to go back to my dodge burn layer here this is my soft light dodge burn layer I'm going to press B for brush, I'm going to press D to get black and white again because I want to go back to dodging and burning and that's what we use black and white to do that. So with black selected I'm going to just sort out the shape of that iris a little bit and a little bit there and darken down that colour just a shade because it may be a little too strong. And there we are, that's, that's more like what it should be. So uh, there we go. So that's that's moving in the right direction. I think we've got uh, an almost level uh, lightness between those two cheeks. We've got some detail in the in the um, the beard on the on the cheek in the shadow area here. I think maybe this arm could still darken down just a shade. Let's grab the brush again and make it a reasonable size brush. I'm using the square bracket keys to uh, to make the brush larger and smaller. Um, all these areas that are unimportant don't don't be afraid to, to darken them down um, we are also you'll notice increasing the saturation on the color in those areas that we burn down we're going to sort that saturation out in a minute um, because the red of the shirt is actually very distracting from the rest of the, the, the picture it, it's it's too too strong too saturated so uh, 
We're going to sort that out. I'm going to bring back another little bit of detail there. Right, I think we, we've, we've got a good first stab at the dodging and burning. Now, we're not finished with this by any means, but we need to see it through the filter of the dragonizing layers in order to finish it. One final thing I would like to do before we do those dragonizing layers is just lighten the background again. So I'm going to make a new layer, and this one is going to be another soft light layer. Um, and on this layer, uh, we're going to choose white with a brush, and a large brush. Um, now one of the things I haven't mentioned, you might find uh, when you come to use your brushes um, you get this effect. Let's just choose this, this brush and you get a thin line and if you press hard you get a thick line. That's because the default um, uh, Photoshop brushes for pressure are going to on a vary the size of the brush. What you want is to vary the pressure, uh, the the intensity of the brush. Um, so all of these brushes here, I'm just right clicking here by the way to get this brush palette. Um, all of these first brushes are size variants. Then you see you've got these three hard edge brushes, and then you've got another bunch of soft edge brushes. These ones uh, from here to here are. Um, are going to vary the density based on pressure. So let's grab a 200 and now if I press lightly you see nothing much happens and if I press hard a lot happens. So that's where you can find the density brushes already predefined for you in Photoshop and I'm just lightly lightening that background just to bring it back a little. Now remember I have already done a little bit of burning on the background in order to take down some of those details and, and make them less important because I really don't want the pattern to be an important part of the picture um, but we do just want a little bit of a little bit of information in the background there just so that when we come to do our dragonizing um, there is something to see there is there is a background you can see the context of where I was sat and I've just over overcooked that a little bit and got into the shirt so I'm just grabbing the eraser and just a couple of places where it's visible and take that back down and uh, yeah, let's, let's just a little more gently because we've got a little bit of a dark halo there so I'm just going to try and blend it into the background a little bit there we go that's not too bad it's a little bit hard to see I've got I've got studio lights on me so it's a bit hard to see the screen sometimes so you'll have to forgive me if sometimes I make a, an edit that doesn't look quite so right I um, want to also make sure we avoid any halos along the hairline here. On this particular picture, it's a, a danger, a dangerous area. So let's just there we go, sort that out. Um, so that's not bad. Now the uh, the next step, we've done our um, we've we've let's go back to the beginning and, and just check where we are. We've done our our white balancing layer, which increased our contrast, and then we've done um, a very very gentle. Um, hard light layer which just took down just took the edge off those very high bright parts and now we've done a, a layer that, that really evens up the light between uh, the left and the right and just gives us detail to work with when we're going to be doing the dragonizing layers I did a little bit of work on my eye that's what that layer is and then we've just lightened the background a little that's probably maybe a little too much we'll just back that off a little bit there we go I do want the the face to still be the most uh, important part um, so that's uh, I'm going to group those layers up um, and we're going to call those uh, I'm going to just select so what, what I'm doing to do that is I click on the top layer I want hold down the shift key click on the bottom layer I want to select and then I'm going to press this group button down here and we're going to call that uh, no I think I did that wrong let's uh, well, well, well we'll keep that group and we'll call it even light um, and I'll, <laughs> I, I managed to not get the groups in there, the, the layers I wanted in there. So once again, click on the first, shift click on the last, and I'll drag them into the even light group. There we go. So that now I can means I can turn all of those edits on and off just by turning the group on and off. And I can, if I wish, also change the opacity of the whole group. So if I find that the, uh, the edits overall are too strong, I can back them off that way. I'm going to leave them fully turned on. I'm going to close down that gr that even light group, and I'm now going to make some more. Oops! I'm now going to make some more layers that are the dragonizing layers. So 
The first thing first, we've said the dragonizing effect is a very high contrast effect. So let's let's go and really boost that contrast first of all. So I'm going to make a new adjustment layer, uh, which is going to be a curves layer. And I'm going to set the blending mode on this to hard light. Now you can see immediately that's a very, very strong contrast boost. All the dark parts have gone almost completely black. The light parts have gone extremely bright and the middle parts are a little bit murky. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just bat that off a little bit just by dragging the opacity down. Let's, let's aim for about 70%. Um, so that that's massively increased the contrast. It's also massively increased the color in this shirt look. The red has gone really, really vibrant now. It's definitely way over the top. So I'm going to just make a new adjustment layer. Uh, hit the, the new adjustment layer button. Hue saturation. And I'm going to, I could just grab the reds in here. That would work well. Or I could use, uh, having grabbed the reds, um, I could use the eyedropper to really target that adjustment just on those reds there in the shirt. Um, and you'll see, if I if I click around, you can see the, the region of colours that we're selecting moves as I click around. So I want to centre it on those reds, and I'm actually just going to drag it in just a little bit because it really is just those reds I want to work on. And then I'm going to drag the saturation down. And you can see that as I drag that, the, the reds in the shirt go right down. It is also affecting the skin tones, but the next step is going to take care of that. Thank you again for watching Photo Walkthrough. That's another tutorial chapter done. We've got one more tutorial chapter to come on this tutorial. Of course, remember, if you'd like to get hold of an HD copy of this, this show to download and keep forever, 720p HD, uninterrupted, no ads, one full piece, all the screencast, uh, no, no interruptions at all. And uh, uh, you can download that or buy that online at photowalkthrough.com, um, assuming that I've got those buttons working yet. Depending on when you're watching this, they may or may not be live yet, but it's coming. Coming, it'll be three dollars to get hold of the HD version of this show. You can donate more if you want to support the show by giving us a little bit of extra cash. It does all help to keep the show running. As anyone else helps to keep the show running, the show sponsors. So thank you as always to GoDaddy.com. If you'd like to see our latest GoDaddy deals, and they do change from time to time, so it's always worth checking before you go and buy anything, head on over to photowalkthrough.com slash GoDaddy. And if it isn't anything you want to buy with any of these sponsors, please also consider passing these promo codes codes around to your friends, post them on your website, whatever you want to do, but please just get the promo codes out there. The more people that use them, the more money we make, and of course the more photo walkthrough shows I'm able to do. Thank you also to our other regular show sponsor, Angie's List. If you're looking for a person in your area to do some work on your house or your car or some healthcare professional in your area and you want to see reviews of locals, then head on over to angieslist.com and you can get a 25% discount on your subscription to Angie's List by using the promo code photo when you check out. Thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you to you for watching the show. I'll see you next week for tutorial 18, chapter 3, the final part of our Dragonizing tutorial. See you then. photocastnetwork.com your photography resource in the potosphere photocastnetwork.com